Now then, welcome back. Yep, back on with another stick making video. And uh, yeah, I've shown you this uh, shank before. Uh, I was talking about making it into a, like a hunting stick with a magnet ferrule for a mate. But uh, yeah, haven't got any magnet ferrules. Uh, I thought I did, but I've only got the normal standard ones. So yeah, he's gonna have to wear, which he's not too bothered about. So. Oh yeah, this is the one we'll be working with. It is fair knotty as you can see for a hazel. If it was a black thorn it would have been a, a right good thumb stick. Well yeah, strain it out. The worst is just down here at the bottom. So we'll get that out. It's already uh, been cut to size. But yeah. Go uh, straighten it with steam now. Yeah, just cover this. There we are after straightening it. Just a good old fashioned steam it over my knee I've um, decided to put I saw online. line I think it was on Facebook someone uh, mentioned about covering the sticks to keep the heat in just like that so that's what I did and uh, I kept it on a lower temperature and yeah it bent over my knee easy as I listed so and it's hazel as well so it's dead easy so I'm going to do that exact same technique on a black phone so yeah there we are, it's going to make a nice stick. It's so simple how to do hazel thumb sticks. So yeah, that's why I tend to find this the most simplest, easiest walking stick to do. But yeah, and I'll just let it dry out. Leave it upright, all lay it down, flat on the ground. But yeah, and uh, a couple hours and you can uh, work on it some more. And there you are, after you've steamed it, straightened it, you want to cut off your fork. I, you could just go straight along, that's what I was uh, originally going to do, do it so it was uh, a flat line but I somehow cut them both invertedly going in, so it's not too bad. And yeah, sanded all these knobs and nuts and whatever you want to call them, these burrs. Oh yeah, that's why thumb sticks are simple because you could leave it as it is now. Don't even put a brass ferrule on the end. But yeah, that's it. But yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, give it a bit more sanding and then I'm going to go over with a coat of varnish. Fit a ferrule at the end, but yeah. Simple thumb stick, walking stick complete. And yeah, if um, you wanted to put a brass ferrule on the end, it's uh, so simple. There's many different techniques. Some people use like rasps and files. You can tape it, tape it off so you don't damage the bark. But yeah, I just find it easier whittling it down with me, uh, me knives and that. And um, I just mark it off. Just try it. That's ferrule. Always, a little tip, always try and pick put this down try and pick the closest fitting ferrule if you know what i mean if you go too small this is quite a big stick so i had to pick probably the biggest size one but yeah all you do is whittle it down i always measure just got like that measure it so get the best fit this one's a bit smaller than i would have liked but the like i said the stick the actual shank's quite big and then i just put it on and then i'd give it a little bit of pressure that's how i got them marks on there just to know where else you need to to uh, work on it a bit more but yeah so when you uh, carry on doing that I'll just then measure it up it's about so much off see what I mean but yeah uh, just work your way down and then yeah bit of glue glue put it on little tappy tap and there you go. 
another finished stick but yeah it's the most easiest basic stick to make foam sticks so yeah i'll just uh add ferrule on the end and then yeah just have to varnish it and that'll be it one finished foam stick dead easy and there we have it finished foam stick and yeah like i said all fruit video you do all you have to do once straighten it out is yeah sticks done just depends how much effort you want to put in so like i said all i did sand all knots down so many different ways you can do the top probably the easiest is just like that just cut it straight off yep ferrule on the end i'll just put a bit of varnish on but some people put waxes all sorts there's loads you can do Ah, yep. Thank you to uh, everyone who subscribed and viewed videos. It is much appreciated. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's how you do a, a thumb stick. Probably the easiest and simple, simplest walking stick to do. Or when you started out like, so. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, see you on my next video.